In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to mount one S3 bucket with one EC2 machine. Okay. So I'll create a machine first, launch instance. So this machine I will call it as S3 mount demo. Uh, so here I'm going to select Amazon Linux machine. I'll keep it as default instance type and operating system like uh, then key pair name. I'll select key November. So rest everything I will keep it as default. Okay. And one more thing. So go to edit. So I'll give all traffic because we need HTTP and HTTPS traffic. So I'll give an all traffic. So or else you can give a particular uh, particular port or particular particular access. Okay. So in this case to get rid of errors, I'll give all traffic access. Launch instance. So when I come to the production scenario, we should not use that uh, because as much as we need to make it secure our environment. Okay. I'll go to instance again. So then I'll try to connect my virtual machine. Now it's a pending state. Uh, once it's active and running, I'll try to connect. Let's wait. Uh, so we can mount S3 bucket with EC2 machine, but we cannot take as a EBS volume. Like uh, we cannot uh, store any operating system on S3 bucket. But if you have any object file, for example, uh, files, uh, log files, data files, an image, an application files, this, this all kind of file we can store in our S3 bucket, but we cannot consider as EBS volume or root volume. I'll try to connect my virtual machine. Yeah, successfully my virtual machine has been connected. So now I'll become root first sudo so. Okay. So first step is we need to install Apple repository as well as we need to install S3 fuse file system because if you want to install or if you want to mount S3 bucket with your virtual machine. So we need to install one file system. Then only we can do that. Okay. So let me install Apple repository first. So we can use Amazon Linux extracts. Okay. So already have a command over here. Already I copied the command over here. Sudo Amazon Linux extras install apple minus one. Okay, let me do that. So for that uh, we can use Amazon uh, Linux extras install. Then I'll specify apple repository apple minus y. So this is going to install apple repository extra package for enterprise Linux or enhanced Linux. So that's the full form of apple successfully installed so now i'll install my s3 fuse package uh, for that we have to install uh, m install then we have to specify s3 fs then fuse minus y and going to install s3 file so s3 fs file system successfully installed okay and now we need to create one file password file so that file is going to authenticate with my s3 bucket because without a permission i cannot do that so i require a permission or ec2 machine required a permission right so i'll go to my s3 bucket sorry i'll go to the command again so i mean already copy the uh, keys and access key and secret access key so first we have to mention echo after echo we have to mention the access key then secret access key then greater than then we have to specify the dollar home and uh, slash dot password as 3fs we can put any name over no problem but we have to change for example i am going to create a file uh, sheet password okay let me put any name so that is not a mandatory name like s3 underscore fs we can put any name it will work okay so i'll just copy this so once you copy this then you have to go to your server again then paste over you yeah, that's created a file file name is dot ashik ashik password okay so let me check whether it's created or not i'll go to ls minus ld then go to root directory okay i'll go to the root directory and once again let me try i suppose it to go to ls minus l right uh, root now you have to execute root so now you can see that uh, one file has been created. So this is hidden directory. That's what we have a dot over you. Okay, dot ashik password. Uh, so next, we need to reduce the permission. If I go to my file, I'll show you that ls minus l. Uh, you can see that read, write, read, read, write. So in the sense, all users can access group, uh, other users and owners, everyone can access this file. So maximum, I need to make it secure. That's what I'll remove the permission chmod uh, 600. 
then we'll specify the file name so file name so that is situated on root then dot ashic password I'll specify the file name successfully done so at last we need to mount the file system before we need to create one directory then we will mount that file system or s3 into this particular directory okay so as of now i already created any bucket as well that also i have to do so let me do that i'll create a directory first mkdir i'll call it as test bucket sorry mount I'll, I'll call it as bucket mount we can call it as any name group not a problem so that is according to our wish bucket mount fine ls then root yeah bucket mount one directory has been created so now i'll go to this directory then i will put uh, some files over here and these files will be visible on my bucket i'll go to my s3 bucket again uh, then i will check which bucket i have to select i'll go to my superglue.tk or terraform first bucket one two three let me try okay so i will use this bucket terraform first bucket one twenty three okay i'll copy this bucket name copy the bucket name terraform first bucket one two three uh, then go to virtual machine again we have to copy this command i'll copy this command so paste over you so let me explain what is it I written over here. So first we have to mention S3FS file system then bucket name. So as we discussed I have to specify the bucket name. So I will specify Terrafo. Uh, let me Terrafo. First bucket 1, 2, 3. Let me check the correct name or not. Terrafo first bucket 1, 2, 3. Uh, I no need to put one hyphen over here. So now everything is okay, right? So next S3. So uh, I'm, I'm mentioning the mount directory. So I created a di directory named as bucket mount. So I, I have to specify the uh, mount directory. So minus O uh, that is omitting omit. Okay, so we'll discuss that what is exactly minus O in coming class. So next password file I have to mention. So password file I created actually forgot the name. Let me check the name first. So password name I think Ashik password Ashik password right then hit enter successfully done uh, to confirm that you can execute mount uh, then you can do a grep command grep uh, like what is the directory name Ashik sorry what is the directory name like mount directory name so let me check the directory bucket mount right I'll call it as bucket okay you can see that s3fs on bucket mount type if user okay. successfully they uh, mounted my file system or s3 bucket whatever it can be i'll go to my bucket okay this is my bucket i don't have any object same as i'll go to my virtual machine cd then i'll go to mount s3 bucket let me check what is the bucket name uh, bucket mount i think so yeah bucket mount ls now you can see that i don't have any files over here same as i don't have any files on my bucket as well so i'll try to create a hundred files by using uh, by using linux command only so using touch command so i can create a file okay this file i will create so let me just put one two hundred files i'm gonna create it i think it's called uh, created i think so it's creating so it will take some time i'll go and refresh over you and you can see that file has been created hundred file has been created right hundred file has been created ls you can see that hundred files already created and if i go to my uh, bucket you'll be able to find hundred under files has been created same as i will uh, refresh and i will delete all this file delete so we can uh, delete this all file from bucket i'll specify permanently delete let me try copy and paste okay it's not working why wait what I done over here copy and paste and delete object okay okay now you can see that I'm able to access all the file if I execute ls see all file has been deleted right same as if I go to my bucket I'll upload one file that's a, that should be reflected on my Linux system as well I'll go to add a file so resume Sharon. I'll open the Sharon resume. Open. Yeah. I'll go to my book. Uh, Linux ls. You can see that resume Sharon PDF has been came over you. That's it. So this is very simple concept. So we only need to use like uh, two to three commands. So first we have to install uh, Apple repository.
then uh, we have to install this file system in three particular file system uh, we have to create a file we can create any file ashik password but we have to use the valid access key and secret access key then we have to change uh, the password permission or uh, later uh, we can mount our s3 bucket same as ebs or efs okay okay if you have any further out doubt uh, please let me know so i'll do one thing i'll copy and paste these commands in my description same